Earlier we saw when we are opening a file how to handle the errors. That was one of the uh, uh, ways. And there's another way that uh, people are using often. It's the open or die way. And here is how it works. This is the expression. You write open or die. And you can see this quite often in very various scripts uh, throughout the internet if you're looking for some Perl code. How does this work? So you remember that or or any boolean expression in Perl short circuits. Specifically or if the left hand side is true then the right hand side is not in, uh, executed anymore. On the other hand if the left hand side is false then the right hand side needs still to be executed. So when open is true, when open succeeds and it returns true, then we know that the whole expression is going to be true so the right hand side is not executed. The code runs on here and it reaches the closed file handler and goes on. On the other hand, if open fails, then this is a false, then the OR part has to execute the other side, and as a side effect, this other side will exit the script, because die will throw an exception, no one is catching here, so it will exit your code. So this is basically reusing the short circuit or abusing the short circuit feature of Perl. Uh, for something good. What basically we are doing here is taking the error that open returns that is a nice uh, way of just saying okay something ha bad happened uh, if you want to deal with it, if you don't want don't deal with it and we are elevating this error into a hardcore exception that will kill your script or application if you're not catching the exception. And that's good because that's in a simple script that's what he want. He just want to quit if the file is uh, not there. Depending of course what the file means, what the file does. So if the if we, if it's a configuration file which is optional, then the first version that we saw earlier would be better. If this the whole job of the script is to read this file and do with it something, then if you can't read you can't open the file, then there's no point for running the script. So you just uh, call die and uh, exit this code. One thing that uh, some people dislike in this piece of code is that we are handling errors when the open fails and uh, throwing an exception. On the other hand, we don't deal with the error in the case of close. And it depending on the, on the on the code what you're writing, this can be important or not. Uh, depending on what you're doing, you have to de decide what to do in case the close fails, if it's important at all or not.